How does it feel to be back at 20 wins? It's nice. Uh, last year, I don't believe we made it to 20 no. wins. No, I did the year before, but not last Yeah, and to reach it so early, it feels good to kind of be back to where we should be. Do you kind of understand as a team, though, that that really doesn't mean anything unless you keep, you know, unless you keep piled up the wins? Yeah, that's something that Coach Joni and the coaches emphasize every day, just not to get complacent. Like, yeah, we're at 20 wins. Yeah, we've only lost three games, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to go further. We're trying to do well in the SEC tournament. We're trying to make a run in the NCAA tournament. So we're not really Necessary, necessarily counting our wins right now. It's just keep pushing forward, keep getting better. Um, Vanderbilt is having kind of a rough season, but you know they could make their season with a win against y'all. Joni talked about being scared about this game coming up. Not scared of Vanderbilt, but scared of the game. What are your thoughts about? You know, you mentioned the word complacent to, you know, to keep, you know, to keep your eye on. Yeah. So we play in the SEC. I believe it's the best conference in the nation. And any night, anyone can come in and beat anybody. So even though Vandy's record doesn't show how good of a team they are, if we come in complacent, we could come out and have an upset against us. So I think that as long as we focus in and treat every game the same and not settle in any game. We should be fine. Um, do you watch McKenzie's recaps? Yes, I think I've seen a couple of them. When you after you watch them, what do you generally tell her? I don't really tell her much, but I know like she knows that we watch them, so we're kind of like, oh Mac, like that was a good one, and we're usually there when she's recording them, so it's kind of cool to go back and see how she puts it all together. But we don't really speak too much about it unless she asks us like, hey guys, what do you think? But we'll be like, hey Mac, that was a good one. How do you feel when you hear her say, oh, Kalia had 10 points and I had 15 rebounds or something like that on, her, on a recap? It's definitely different since she's kind of talking about herself, which is unusual for announcers to do, but it doesn't really trigger too much of anything. I think it's different, and I think it's something cool to be, for her to be able to do that and be involved in what she's talking about. Dog Nation has really come behind you guys this, like throughout the season. How does it feel to kind of look in the stands and see so many people out there supporting you? It's amazing like to hear them every game and to look up and see sea of red or if it's a blackout, a sea of black, and just to know that they're behind us. Whether we win or lose lately, we've been winning, but it's really awesome to know that we have that support from them and we love them so much. So. And you guys have all kind of been contributing from on the bench and from the starters. What kind of what do you see in practice and see from the team that um, kind of gives you guys the confidence to all be able to contribute like you have? I think just from day one, like coming into skill workouts, you notice that everyone has a really good skill set and everyone has the ability to score, everyone has the ability to defend, everyone has the ability to make plays. So just coming into the season knowing, no you're fine, knowing that we had that and seeing it put together in practice, we knew that any night anybody could be the one to step up and have a really good game. And when that person is somebody, we're always usually rooting for them because you never know when it's your night or when it's someone else's night. So we're usually very, very supportive of that. Um, you've played Vanderbilt before. I know y'all still have to scout and do all that kind of stuff. But what do you remember about that game and, and what concerns you about them? Uh, I remember most uh, just that we were able to get out and transition on them and then that we played really good D. They're a very good shooting team. I know number 10 shoots 59% from the field, which is almost like unheard of. So I know that that night we kind of held them from doing that. So next game we'll have to make sure that we do the same and they're actually shooting it even better than when we played them the first time. So I think that's something that's going to be a big focus is making sure we hold them to a low field goal percentage because they're shooting it very well. All right, thank you.